Hi, I'm back again. I've been running some tests on this here engine. I came across the fuel injectors on this here old car. This is the fuel injectors right here. The plug connection. Then you have one on the exterior. An extra, con extra connector here. What I discovered by doing this here, um, I was doing an ohm check on these here um, connectors here. I found one that was out, but I would just want to double check it. Like um, this one here in the middle, I ran a check across it, and I got an ohm reading of what is that? See if I can see it. 25.2 25.2 ohms okay that one's in excellent condition now I went over to check this other lead right here put my connector on it and I got one Point four five. That one is in trouble. It ain't totally out, but it's too low. That's going to need to be replaced. Then I took my lead and um, put it on the second terminal right here. Test that one. And I got nothing. That one is open. Just like not having nothing on it at all. That one there is totally bad. Then I tested the end one. Put my lead on it. 25.3. That one's good. And my second one, put my lead on it. Twenty five point three. That one's good. So I got three injectors that are good. This here one here, um, this extra lead, this here one is kind of, I think this one last check was low. That one is 3.30 ohms. So that one's going to, that one's going to need to be replaced too. So this one here, the one that's open, um, I know that needs to be replaced, but I just want to see something here. Because if it's truly open, I'm using this 12-volt battery. If it's truly open, I would get no current coming through that coil at all. So I put my meter on DC volt go into the battery put this other clamp on the other side of the connector it's not easy to do this here and hold the camera at the same time Okay, and one lead is going to my battery, the other one is going to go to my connector. I put the, the ohm meter on um, DC volts. I touch the lead and no power 
is going through that coil whatsoever. I'm not picking up 12 volts. That injector coil is definitely open. Now I'm going to try it on the one that's, that's got the low ohms. Okay, this is the one that got the low ohm reading. It needs to be replaced too because it's not consistent like the other ones. And I'm going to check my voltage, see if it's going through it. And there it goes. I'm getting voltage going through it, even though it's giving me a low ohm reading. But that other one, the other one that does not have voltage going through it, that one definitely got to be replaced. That one is definitely bad. So that's how I um, run voltage through my um, fuel injector coils and check the ohms to them. Hopefully this will help you when it comes to little problems like that. But I tell you one thing, if you're going to get some um, fuel injectors, shop around. These things are expensive. All right. Hope this helped. Talk to you later.